Hey masters, today we're gonna explore the topic ARIA snapshots in Playwright. I'm gonna show you the concept, what it is, how you can generate an ARIA snapshot, how you can make an assertion based on it, and also how you can update it. So I'm gonna explain to you this step by step uh, from the installation to a real kind of example, and I hope that you can um, support this video and let me know in the comment section if you would use it in a kind of real project. So. Let's see. Masters, I just wanted to let you know that I have a personal website, youngmedia.dev, all right? If you look for the blog part and you look for the Playwright free course, you're gonna see a kind of a course, right? With a lot of content. You have every single video that I just posted in my YouTube channel. And as you can see, it comes from install Playwright through API testing, mock API, a charting, authentication, and so on. My goal is to add this video that you're currently seeing to this website. So you can have like a index a site where you just have to come and check the video that you want. So uh, I just wanted to let you know that and let's start with the video. Okay, masters, what are ARIA snapshots? In Playwright, ARIA snapshots provide a YAML representation of the accessibility tree of the page. These snapshots can be stored and compared later to verify if the page structure remains consistent or meets defined expectations. All right, basically this YAML file format is gonna describe the hierarchical structure of accessibility element on the page, detailing rows, attributes, values, and text content, okay? I'm gonna go to the playwright.dev website. I'm gonna inspect over here the website and I'm gonna show you this part of the of the homepage. This is a header, right? This header under it, we have an H1 title, right? As you can see over here, this is the title. And also we, here we have a div with a couple of links, the, the link to get started and also a, a couple of links to the um, start Microsoft Playwright on GitHub and also the count of, um, the kind of, of stars that it actually has, right? So if you also see on the Chrome Dev Tools over here and on the accessibility tab, you can see as well an accessibility tree. This accessibility tree has the banner, okay? It has the heading, which is basically all the text that we have under the H1. Then we have a link, get started, another link, which is the start Microsoft Playwright on GitHub, and also the count of the stars that it has. So as you can see, it is like an exact copy of what we have on HTML, but now we're using accessibility tree and based on the roles and all the information that it has, it is creating an accessibility tree. Now, Playwright is capable to come here to this accessibility tree and create an area snapshot using YAML file structure. I'm gonna explain you how you can get it and then how you can assert it. I hope that you like it. Let's do it. Okay, masters, let's start with an example. I'm gonna start installing Playwright pretty quickly using Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna open my notes here and this is the command that you have to use. npm init playwright at latest, all right? So I'm gonna come here to my terminal and I'll be pasting this command. It is gonna ask me if I wanna use TypeScript or JavaScript, I'll be using JavaScript. Uh, this is the test folder that I want to use. I don't wanna use a GitHub action right now. And yeah, I wanna install the browsers for my execution. So that's it, as you can see, everything is installed and working fine. If I run the command mpx playwright test, it should run smoothly and have a clean execution. So as you can see, everything should look in green in a few seconds, let's see. It is okay, all right. It is working perfectly fine. I'm gonna go to my test part here in the tests folder and I'll be uh, kind of editing my test that was automatically generated and I'll be changing the title to um, Aria snapshot testing, okay? Um, under this test, I wanna go to the Playwright Dev uh, site, as you as I showed you before, and I wanna change the, the expect, right? I wanna change the assertion from a uh, title to make sure that it has the particular title to uh, Aria snapshot validation. So first of all, we need to know how to create or generate an Aria snapshot, how we can do it. I'm gonna go here to my notes, <laughs> and 
I'm gonna start using this command, mpx playwright code gen. This is gonna open the code generator generator from playwright. And as you can see, this is the code generator. I'm gonna go to the playwright.dev website and I'll be using this particular button here to select elements in the web page. In the web page. I'm gonna click the, well, the banner over here and then I'll be opening the Playwright Inspector, which is automatically open when you open the a code generator. All right, so it, it is okay. <laughs> it is gonna open with uh, with a simple command, a MP, MPX Playwright Code Gen. All right, so masters, I just select the banner and as you can see under the Playwright Inspector, here we have the locator. So first of all, I can get this locator and change the assertion from Expect, expect page to page dot get by role and the name of the role, which is banner, as you can see, okay? This is the banner. And then we can get the area snapshot from this top area. And I just have to copy this and I'll be pasting that under a new assertion, which is to a match area snapshot. And inside of it, you just have to paste the area snapshot that you need. Something is wrong, let me check what I did incorrectly <laughs> and it is to do, do it i have a double a uh, parent and there it is now you see do is working now awesome masters if you see the area snapshot here it follows the same structure of the accessibility tree that i just showed you before let me open the chrome browser let me open the inspect over here and let me show you again what happened when i checked accessibility tree it has the banner i have the heading and three links, the same stuff here. When we convert the accessibility tree to a YAML file, right? As you can see over here, this is awesome. Okay, masters, notice something. Um, when it is generating the area snapshot for the heading, it has the level one because it is an H1 element, right? Let me show you the two. It is an H1. If we're having an H2 in the HTML, it is gonna have level two for us, all right? Okay, masters. Now, if I run this in Visual Studio Code, let's see if it works or not. How I'm gonna run it? First of all, I'm gonna commit these changes to a repo because it is part of demo, all right? I'm gonna use fit a playwright area snapshot demo. Okay, I just wanted to commit it because you're gonna see how you can update the area snapshot with a simple command in a few seconds. All right, masters, now that we have the code, let me try to run this for you and make sure that the snapshot validation is working. So first of all, masters, um, if you have the time, <laughs> go to the market, uh, the extension marketplace in Visual Studio Code and look for Playwright over here. It is gonna open the Playwright test for VS Code. This is an extension that when you install it, you're gonna have a new icon in your VS Code over here, which is testing this, all right? Now that you have the testing over here, you can open the test explorer. And under that, you have the test uh, file and also uh, every single test that you have inside. I'm gonna press this debug button, debug test. And I'm gonna try to run my test, this one over here. As you can see, it is working, it seems to, right? You see, it has result, and here is the uh, result. Doo -doo -doo. Let me run it again. And there it is, it is one past. The area snapshot assertion, it's working perfectly fine. As I told you before, if I change this to level two, because me, we, are, we may expect to have an H2 head, a heading, right? Um, it, is gonna, it is gonna fail. Let me show it again. I'm just making um, kind of a, a purpose box to make sure that this is working right. And as you can see, masters, this is the error. It is expecting to have level one, but it has level. Masters, also you can get rid of the level validation just to make sure that it has a heading and also the content of the heading is the correct one. Let's imagine that you don't wanna make sure that it has the correct level. You can do it, you can make a partial assertion. So I'm gonna get rid of this level validation in the YAML file, okay? So I'm gonna run this again and you can see that probably it is gonna work and it has one pass. This is working as well, okay? I just wanted to let you know that masters and also if I, I just wanna make sure that everything is working fine and you can see it working. I'm gonna make sure that the link 
text validation for this link get started is the correct one and also it is case sensitive if i change the started d at the end to uh well a d in capital letters you're gonna see that this is gonna fail let me show you that okay there it is it is working let me give, give let's give a couple of seconds and you're gonna see an error over here. okay this is it d or awesome master so as you can see this is working fire masters and as you can see also maybe we can delete the get started over here just to make sure that it has a link. I don't wanna make sure that it has the correct text. So let me try it. I hope that it works. <laughs> and as you can see, it is one path. Masters, all of this information can be found in the official documentations. And, and as you can see, you can make a lot of assertions, partial, and all a lot of features that I'm not going to be able to cover in this video over here. You can use regular expressions, okay? You can just check one list item of the list if you want to. You can check a checkbook <laughs> uh, if it is checked or not by default, right? And a lot of information that you can see over here. And um, I just want to check here the notes. Let me... Uh, check with you what we have seen until now. We review the theory, how to install Playwright, how to generate an ARIA snapshot baseline, uh, how to create a test and make it work. I think we, we did it. Uh, we added some bugs <laughs> and we committed the changes, okay? Now, masters, I wanna show you how you can update your snapshot by a simple command and using a git a command as well. Let's try it. Okay, masters, let's try to update our snapshot automatically. This is pretty simple. I'm gonna show you how you can do it, okay? So I'm gonna make a dummy error here. I'm gonna change the level one to level two again, just to make sure that this is not gonna work, okay? Let's imagine that for some reason, our YAML file, it's outdated with this example. And they change, the developer changes the heading from level two to level one. And I wanna have a method to update our YAML file automatic, okay? Given this scenario, we can go here to the terminal and run this command that we have in the official documentation. MPX playwright test update the snap, okay? So I'm gonna go to the terminal, I'm gonna run this. And as you can see, it is gonna start the execution. It is, go it is going to identify that our YAML file has a level two over here. And it is gonna recommend us a new baseline, okay? We can see the baseline over here. Uh, basically, this is the old YAML file that we have in our test with level two, and it is uh, recommending to update it to the level one because there is a new update in the HTML, and it is recommending us to update the snapshot automatically. How we can do it? Well, you just have to use this command, git apply test results slash rebase uh, lines that path. I'm gonna paste the command over here, and it should have a new level one in our test now if i run this again it should work there it is there is a one past test so masters i think i have covered every single topic that i had for this video let me know in the comment section if you well see a a, a good opportunity to implement this in your project let me know your thoughts your feedback and i'll be more than happy to listen to you and learn from you as well hope to see you in the next one masters and bye bye take care